and subscribe and share. Hi, it's Mary. Welcome to my kitchen. I was surfing the internet a day or so ago. Found a really good sounding recipe. It's from Sugar Free Mom. It's low carb French onion meatballs. Now, that sounded really good to me and my family. So I'm gonna give it a shot today and we'll give a fair opinion on it. So first of all, I've got a pound of ground beef. The recipe says you could use pork or beef. I use beef. Okay, and I've got a half cup shredded mozzarella cheese, a third cup of pork rinds. Cannot stand to have my workspace cluttered. Recipe calls for fresh, fresh parsley and sage. I don't have fresh, but I use dried. Instead of using a tablespoon of fresh, I use a teaspoon of dried. So that's the uh, measurements, just in case you're interested. But I've got parsley, sage, onion powder, salt, and pepper. A teaspoon of the parsley, sage, and onion powder, half teaspoon of the salt, and probably a quarter teaspoon of the pepper. Put that in there. An egg. And a teaspoon of garlic. Put this up here, get it mixed up, and I'll show you what it looks like in a second when we're finished. All right, we've got that mixed up really well now. So let's just take it down. And the recipe says that it makes about 20 golf ball size, so I'm using an ice cream scoop. So we'll see. I know it smells really good. So how do you make meatballs? What are some of your favorite things to put in there? Leave a note down in the uh, comments for that. Before we started doing keto, I like to use the panko breadcrumbs all the time, especially the Italian seasoned ones. Those are my favorite. But I'm learning now that pork rinds make a pretty good substitute in just about everything. What do you use as a substitute? Maybe you're using something that I had not thought about. Keto is new to me. But it definitely has helped our family. Not quite sure we're going to get 20 out of this. This is not 20 golf ball size. So. We put these in a 425 degree preheated oven. And we're going to bake them for about 20 minutes. So, just use all the rest of this. Okay, now after I get these in the oven, uh, I'll show you the uh, rest of the, uh, the recipe the uh, onions, the French onion part. So, I'll see you in a minute. Alrighty, for the uh, next part of this recipe, the uh, French onion soup part, I've peeled onions. It calls for two medium onions. I had one medium and two small, so guess what? That's what I'm using. For me, a recipe is only a guideline. I usually don't follow exactly. And a lot of times I don't measure. So I have got two tablespoons of butter melting in my pan. I'm gonna put my onions in here. And I need to uh, cook them until they're caramelized. So. I'll see you back when that happens. Okay, the onions are starting to caramelize. So, 
I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the ingredients in here. It calls for 16 ounce of beef stock. So I'm using 16 ounces of water and two tablespoons of the uh, Better Than Bouillon. know by now I'm just gonna throw a little bit in there and I will put another teaspoon of garlic in there and now I just need to simmer this until it thickens up I'll show you what it looks like then okay this has thickened up a lot so I'm gonna go ahead and put my meatballs in here This smells like an excellent, excellent recipe. I cannot wait to try it. Okay, putting the meatballs in there, stirring them around a bit. I'm supposed to top them with about a half a cup of mozzarella cheese. So. That looks about right to me. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment. And I'm supposed to put a little bit more parsley on it to make it look nice and pretty. Until the cheese melts and I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. Alrighty, let's see what this looks like. Oh, we got the cheese nice and melted on those meatballs. nice thick gravy. I've never made French onion soup before. So let me give this a quick taste. And while this is cooling, I'll go ahead and say please like it, subscribe, and share. And if you have any comments, leave them down below and let's get a taste test. Mmm. That's excellent. All right. As I said a few minutes ago, I would give you an update and a taste test and a result. Well, it's good to the last drop. It was excellent. It will definitely be something that I make over and over again. Like, subscribe, and share.